On D-Day, June the 6th, 1944, American, British, and Canadian troops launched the largest seaborne invasion in history. About 152,000 troops on nearly 2,500 ships sailed across the English Channel to five beaches in Normandy. Disembarking in choppy seas, they stormed the beaches, supported by about 23,000 airborne troops. This decisive turning point of World War II was commemorated 50 years later by survivors of that day. Cricket is played between two teams of 11 players. Each team bats twice and fields twice. Two batsmen at a time are on the field at opposite ends of the 22-yard strip in the center. The batsman at the striking end, here the great West Indian Brian Lara, tries to steer the ball between the fielders. The two batsmen then score by running between the wickets. If he hits the ball to the boundary, he scores four without having to run. The bowler bowls six balls from one end of the wicket then a second bowler bowls from the other end. They attempt to swing and spin the ball unpredictably, making it difficult to hit. Batsmen can be out in a number of ways, including being bowled out when the ball hits the wicket, caught out by one of the fielders, or run out by a fielder throwing the ball at the wicket. When all the players are out, the team with the most runs wins. Will you solemnly promise and swear to govern the people? I solemnly promise so to Lord, do. clothe you with the robe of righteousness and with the garments Receive of the Receive the royal scepter, the ensign of kingly power.